Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Ain't We Got Fun and this video will be another part of my makeup collection series. I decided to separate my eye products just so that I would have some shorter videos instead of having one super long one. And this will be all of the wet or creamy type products, the mascaras, eyeshadow primers, cream shadows, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like it. Of course, with these videos, I put a little bit of review or chit chat in there. And thank you so much for watching and let's get on with the video so starting off with eyeshadow primers I pretty much don't do any eyeshadow look without a primer or some sort of base and this is my favorite one it makes pretty much any eyeshadow last all day and even into the night um, the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion this is the regular or translucent they have other shades of this too the main con I'd say is that it's a little bit hard to blend out or um, I guess slightly thick and if you don't blend it out fast enough it can make your eyeshadow look a little patchy if you didn't apply this thinly enough. But I have tried quite a few and this one lasts the longest for me. This cream primer that comes in a little tub is from a brand called Shani. It is made in the USA. I bought it off of Amazon for around $8. Be warned though, they have other products, not all of them are made in the USA, but this one advertises being paraben free and hypoallergenic and infused with vitamins and they said that you could use it on your eyelids and your lips, so I wanted to try it out. It does work pretty well, not as long lasting on my eyes as the Urban Decay, but for the price I think it's great. It has a beige color and this Urban Decay, the regular one, has no color, it's translucent when I put it on. And this one cancels out the existing color of your lips pretty well and your eyelids and the eyeshadows will show up more. I would definitely get this one again. It's nice and creamy. We'll see how long it lasts though. I've had it for a few months. Cream products, especially cream products in tubs, will tend to dry out, but I think it is a great value. Next uh, is my only gel eyeliner. This is from Essence. I think it was just a few dollars. I bought it at Ulta and it's made in Germany. This is the, the black one in Midnight in Paris. It says that it's waterproof. I'm pretty certain that it is but this is starting to dry out and um, for me it seemed to have dried out pretty quickly. Maybe I bought an older jar. I probably would get this again but I still want to try some other ones. Next are my uh, inky liquid uh, type liners. These are all black. I'm not sure why I haven't thrown some of these ones away. This one from Jessie's Girl is made in Taiwan and it works pretty much like these ones from Physicians Formula except this one dried out really fast. I highly do not recommend it and I think these were both a similar price around 10 bucks but this one it works well but it it didn't last for me. These ones, I think I've already bought two or three in the past. They last about a year and that is with using it maybe around three times a week. They, for me, are pretty much duplicates of the one from Lorac, which I don't have anymore. And that one lasted about a year too. The formulas are really similar. I will continue to buy these. The only downside for me is that they are not waterproof. They last pretty long and they have a bit of a sheen so if you want your liquid eyeliner to be super matte this might not be the one for you. And one of these is black and the other one is ultra black. The ultra black one is, is darker and I will keep buying them. This one is made in, okay I cannot find, I think it probably says on the box that it comes in but not on these where it's made. but. From what I know, it's usually made in Italy or the USA. And this is the Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner. And this is the, just the type that has a thin brush and the ink well that you would shake and just re-dip as it starts to dry out. It's made in Germany. And I would not get this one again. The tip is really hard to control. I think that the paintbrush is a little bit too long and flimsy and I just end up making a mess and wasting a lot of time when I've tried to use that one. 
I've seen some people be able to use it with great success, but it didn't work out for me. And this one, this, the Essence Liquid Eyeliner, waterproof, another inkwell style one, is made in Luxembourg. A pretty good value, but the brush makes me prone to making mistakes. Um, not as long and flimsy as the Revlon Color Stay Skinny, but I just can't control it very well. I prefer the ones that are like these pens. I've just kept this around. If I do need it to be waterproof, I will take a thin angled brush and just brush the tip of this one onto a brush and use it like that, but I'm not sure if I would get this one again. Just because I don't want to have to use a separate brush. This is my only eyebrow gel. This is the Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara. This one is made in the USA and it works pretty well. It has a nice thin brush, but if you're not careful, you can make mistakes and make your eyebrows look too harsh, perhaps darker than you originally intended if you wanted your eyebrows to look natural. So it works, especially if you have very dark hair, but I think it's probably easier to use a clear one. I just, I don't know, I thought that one might be good to try out. These are my eyebrow pencils. They're both in dark brown shades. This one just says eyebrow pencil elliptical core. I bought this one at Daiso. You know, and this one works pretty well. It's a little bit dark, but I like how it has the pencil on one end and the brush on the other, and you don't need to keep sharpening the pencil side. I, I would buy this one again, especially for $1.50. Next is this L'Oreal one. Made in the Czech Republic. What is this? Brow Stylist and Sculptor. I don't think I would get this one again just because I don't use this uh, wax side that much. I don't. I find that these don't do a lot for me. I do like when they have this little brush here. Pencil works fine for me, but I'll, I'll probably go ahead and pass on this next time. There's a liquid liner that I missed. This one is the Super Slim. This one works pretty well. I think it has more of a spongy pen tip. And this is in black. It works all right. I don't know if I would get this one again. It's not as black as the Physician's Formula one, but I've just kept it around. It's made in Germany. Next are my thin pencil liners, and I just have three of them. One is the kind you sharpen, and the rest are the retractable ones. This one is from Rimmel, and that one I'm pretty sure is made in the UK or England. But I, I think I sharpened off wherever it was made in. It's in the black color. People have said that this is a dupe for the Urban Decay 24-7 liner uh, based on texture. I'd say it is. I see that it, it might have said waterproof there. This is not waterproof for me. It doesn't last very well on my waterline. People have said that it does, but for me it doesn't. I think the Revlon ones last longer, but they're not as black as this. It is nice and creamy. It goes on very easily, but I would not purchase this one again just because I tend to go for products that last an extremely long time. But the Urban Decay 24-7 liner doesn't last that long for me either so yeah if you're wanting a dupe for that I think this could be it and these are the Revlon Colorstay retractable liners in black and this one is in the color called Topaz it's kind of a nice color like a bronzy coppery shade they have the sponge tip at the end that you can use to blend it but they are a little bit hard to use you might need to warm it up on the back of your hand first um, that might be a property that makes it last longer. They last pretty well on my waterline, but yeah, I don't know if I would get this type again. I probably would if I just needed the black for the waterline. It is not the blackest black that you'll find, but for me, I don't need things to be the darkest. I just want them to last when it comes to black eyeliner or mascara. The last few things. I bought all of them except this one, the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil I bought at Rite Aid for a few dollars and it is made in Germany. This works great as an eyeshadow base and I think I've also used this on the waterline. This is the shade Continuous Almond and they have a lot of nice colors but I just bought that one. 
and Jordan and Milani are owned by the same company. So these work pretty similar too, but I bought these at Dollar Tree. So I got such a great value on these. These are made in Germany also. And I have Aquatic Style 05. I haven't used this that much. I'll buy colorful eye products, but I just tend to not end up using them as much. And this one I like a lot. Golden Bronze 12. And it says it's highly pigmented, metallic finish, long lasting, water resistant. These do last a good deal. If you're not able to get an eye primer, something like this, like these, any of these three work great. Not as long lasting as the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, but these are a great deal. And I also have the brown color. That one's called Espresso Line. And this one, Maybelline Master Smoky by Eye Studio in the shade Blue Blaze, made in the USA. Same idea as these ones, just a, a big, let me uh, open that. Is, um, I bought this one at Dollar Tree and I'm glad I did because it looks like it would be really nice, but when you try to blend it on your eye, it tends to just be streaky or disappear. It also has a spongy end like those Revlon ones, but this one I would never buy again. And I think at regular price, these ones cost less anyway. So those so. were all of my mascaras, eyelid primers, eyeshadow sticks. I'll probably choose these over any cream shadow that's in a pot just because they are so easy to use. Even though you do end up wasting some of it when you sharpen it, I think it's worth it. A few things to throw away. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.